There are three things important to small business success. Location, location, location. Oh, and maybe a real good piece of pie, too. As the owner of Jordy's Trailside Cafe explains. There's a lot to see on this little stretch. It's a 10 mile stretch of the Sioux Line Trail. At the county line, Stearns, Morrison County, it hooks onto the Lake Wobegon Trail, goes into Holding Fort. But on our little 10 mile, we have a lot of farmland, um, woods, little creeks, little rivers, and then of course we have the great mighty Mississippi River when we get up to Blanchard Dam. So now at Blanchard Dam, um, you can stand and you can kind of feel the mist of the water off of the dam hitting you on the, the bridge. And then right below the dam, there's cross rock picking. And if you ever look it up on the internet or look cross rocks, there are very few places in the world that you can find cross rocks. This being one of them. Uh, we have a little tree on the sidewalk here that has little panty boxes and a little hoop that they can take on their bikes and take to um, down to the dam, pan for cross rocks, bring them back. So there's a lot of people always digging in the in the side waters, but uh, good cross rocks are, are collectible. Once you get back into Bolus, we're getting quite famous for Sonia's pies here. Sonia and I are okay. um, a mother-daughter team that have the restaurant, Jordy's Restaurant here. And um, she does all the homemade pies and cakes. And since she started doing that, we, we do get a lot of people that just wait to come back off the trail for pie and ice cream <laughs> in the summer. And, uh, you know, we have a full menu, sandwiches. Yeah. It's all homemade, all fresh, you know. Um, we like to kind of think it to be when you walk in, you're kind of walking into grandma's house. Nothing really matches. You sit down and you have different plates and silverware and tablecloths. But when you eat, and we like to make sure everybody feels welcomed and have that feeling like you're eating at grandma's. <laughs> and you can eat outside or inside. Oh, yeah, we have a nice uh, garden area right alongside of the cafe that we have um, seating in the garden. And then also uh, we have a pavilion that is covered, um, so if the weather isn't real cooperative, you can sit and eat in there for small parties, up to like 30 people. The cross-country bikers are always looking for a place to shower, and there's a couple of us in town that um, allow them to use that, us being one of them. And, and so they camp in the garden, and then they, camp, they can camp in our, our city park too and then um, they uh, can shower at our facility or another one in town and um, it works out pretty well. Anything you want to say about the trail in general? Uh... Well if you have not been on our trail, the Sioux Line Trail, it's probably one of, we hear this over and over in our cafe uh, time and time again. Of how People really, not only from this area but the cities all over the state, how, how nice our trail is because it's, uh, it's real country, it's real rural, yet it's, uh, you know, you go into a little town, you go into farmland, you go into woods, canopied woods, the Mississippi has a lot to offer. So it's a very nice trail. Well, thank you so much. Well, thank you, and I, I really hope that you guys get a chance to go on the trail too. Thank you. Jordy's Trailside Cafe is open year round and they welcome snowmobilers in winter just as they welcome cyclists in summer. Check them out.